nothing can be faster than the speed of light. This was said by Brad Sinos, a researcher at the Harvard Smithsonian Center. Physics laws cannot be broken, but the scientists were able to find an example of an amazing occurrence that recently happened. The Event Horizon Telescope collaboration were the first to release images of a huge black hole, and they provided the theory that this huge black hole grew to its size by merging with other black holes. They identified it as a black object in the center of Messier 87, or M87. M87 is an enormous galaxy in the most nearby universe, and it's thought to have formed by the merger of 100 or smaller galaxies. Its mass is believed to be around 6.5 billion times that of our suns, and is 100 light years ahead of Earth. The black hole of M87 is named M87 star. The black hole has been observed emitting jets, and researchers have said they're traveling at 99% the speed of light. They were able to pick up on this by measuring them through X-ray. The black hole sucks things towards the center of the galaxy. As the material approaches, it starts to rotate around the black hole, but it isn't yet sucked in. Only a small amount of material falls in whilst the rest is ejected back into space. The ejected material takes the form of a jet that follows magnetic field lines. The jets are like clumps and knots traveling through space, and two of these knots have been tracked for years, with images and the data showing us how fast they're traveling, and is something that surprised the researchers when first looking through the data. One of them is traveling at 6.3 times the speed of light, while the other one is traveling at 2.4 times the speed of light. This is pretty much peak speed when it comes to anything in the universe. The knots are following the superluminal motion. It comprises of the speed of light and the path of travel relative to our sight. When the knots travel at the speed of light and are close to our sight, they cause illusions that are known as superluminal motion. The illusions were obviously the jets having more speed than the speed of light. The faster moving knot or jet faded by more than 70% from 2012 to 2017, and the scientists have said the cause is radiations produced as it spirals causing it to lose energy. The fading only happened in the X-ray but not the optical or UV. This phenomenon is called synchrotron cooling. It means that scientists were not observing waves but particles of the jets in the X-ray. Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration and Chandra data provide authenticity and support for each other. They act as the proof of each other's data. Although in Chandra's data the jets were ejected hundreds or even thousands of years earlier, its image was also 100 million times bigger than what the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration had imagined. The scientists were able to prove that the laws of physics cannot be broken, and even the jet speeds cannot exceed the speed of light. Going back in August, scientists detected what they think was a collision between a black hole and a neutron star. Scientists observing gravitational waves may have reached a huge milestone. On the 14th of August 2019, giant detectors in the US and Italy picked up on gravitational waves, and these were set off when a black hole and a neutron star collided around 900 million light years away. The researchers have seen a lot of merger of black holes and neutron stars but never with each other. This could provide some insight to neutron stars which is made up of the densest matter in the cosmos. This observation was made by LIGO and Virgo, near Pisa in Italy which holds around 400 scientists. Gravitational waves are generated when really massive objects collide with each other. To measure these waves, scientists made and developed a huge L-shaped optical instrument called interferometers. Interferometers have arms that are several kilometers long. Gravitational waves were first detected in 2015, when LIGO researchers witnessed a collision between two massive black holes, which were a dozen times bigger than our sun. Black holes are purely made up of gravitational waves that are generated when a star collapses. In 2017, merger between two neutrons was detected. These were gigantic nuclei atom, left behind by the star that are too small to make a black hole. 
Now recently, the merger between a black hole and a nuclei have been detected. A black hole shredding a neutron would reveal how stiff neutron matter is. It would be a great help in knowing the structure of neutron stars. Although the theorists are not sure how frequent the merger between a black hole and a neutron star occurs or how they form. Researchers show they are more likely to form if traveling in a fixed path and colliding, rather than randomly wandering here and there and somewhere finding each other. The recent new signal was particularly strong, and the detectors were able to pinpoint the location in the sky. This shows how much the detectors have improved and can work efficiently. As there is no optical counterpart present, the identification of the objects depend entirely on their masses, which the researchers find through gravitational waves. Many scientists have argued and are debating on the mass of a neutron. Many have agreed that a neutron cannot exceed the weight of 2.2 solar masses. If the astronomers are not able to find an optical counterpart, then LIGO and Virgo researchers have to rely on gravitational waves to determine the nature of the colliding objects. It's challenging, but the researchers are excited and on the verge of a scientific breakthrough. It's reported that gamma ray bursts emitted the brightest and most energetic light in the universe. Gamma ray bursts are extremely energetic explosions and the researchers have observed them in distant galaxies. They are the brightest electromagnetic bursts that occur in the universe. The burst can be for a short period of time or a long one. They can be as short as milliseconds and as long as several hours. After the gamma ray burst, it's often followed by an afterglow which stays for a longer period of time. The most intense radiation of gamma bursts is thought to be emitted when a high mass star explodes to form a neutron star or a black hole. When binary neutron stars merge, they let out short bursts of gamma ray bursts. Most gamma ray bursts occur billions of light years away from Earth. This shows how extremely energetic they are, and they're also a rare occurrence too. All the recorded gamma ray bursts have occurred outside the Milky Way, and it's theorized that if a gamma ray burst was to happen in the Milky Way, it would cause mass extinction. Gamma ray bursts were first detected by Vela satellites, which had a different purpose in 1967. Vela satellites were designed to detect testing of nuclear weapons on the surface of the Earth. Following the discovery, many assumptions and conclusions were put forward for how these bursts were made, such as collisions of comets and stars. This information was verified in 1997 through detection of the first X-ray and optical afterglows. By using optical spectroscopy, multiple occurrences of gamma ray bursts have been recorded. The most recent were in 2019. In November 2019, the gamma ray bursts were detected which they deduce had the most energy. They also came to a conclusion that initial gamma ray bursts is followed by a low fading emission at longer wavelengths. Early searches for this afterglow were not very successful, as it's difficult to observe the gamma ray bursts at longer wavelengths. They also came to a conclusion that initial bursts of gamma rays followed by low fading emissions at longer wavelengths. Early searches for this afterglow were not very successful, as it's difficult to observe the gamma ray bursts at longer wavelengths. The breakthrough came in 1997, when the satellite BeepoSax was able to detect fading X-ray emissions through its X-ray camera. The light intensity of the gamma rays is extremely complex. Two gamma rays don't have the same light curves. If observed, there is definitely a variation present there. It can be as small as milliseconds and as long as several minutes. Sometimes a weak burst is followed by more intense bursts. Some light curves are extremely complicated and complex. They are very hard to discern. Although some light curves can be simplified, there hasn't been much progress in that direction. Bursts with less than two seconds are named as short gamma ray bursts. Around 30% of the bursts are short gamma ray bursts, while the other 70% are long gamma ray bursts. Until 2005, no afterglows were detected though now there have been many records of short gamma ray burst afterglows. 
most gamma ray bursts have a duration of more than two seconds, and are known as long gamma ray bursts. They also tend to have the brightest afterglows, or also observe the longest and in much more detail. Ultra gamma ray bursts occur at the end of gamma ray bursts, and have a duration for more than 1000 seconds. Only a handful have been identified up until now, and are only identified by their gamma ray emission duration. The detection rate is not high due to the less sensitivity of the detectors to long duration emissions. Due to long distances, the system that produces these explosions is hard to be identified. Many theories have been put forward, and the one that has been accepted is that rapidly rotating stars are collapsed into black stars in its final evolutions. Another explanation exists that says gamma ray bursts cause optical illusions. These bursts are destructive and harmful to life, and its safest environment is outside of the Milky Way. So what do you make of these incredible discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries.